been a teacher for many, many years, 35 years in schools, and I'm involved with the Anna Litton Foundation because she was in my fifth grade class. I had her brother before her, and um, in Anna's memory with her parents and brother, we've carried on her love of art and wellness and nature and it makes us all feel good. <laughs> I think that, that teaching the whole child is really important and that's why relaxation, mindfulness, concentration, kids who are dealing with all sorts of issues at home or pressures from school, if they are learning about eating well and how to relax their bodies and be focused, I think that um, they'll be better students. They'll succeed in life and, and part of the whole wellness piece is to tie it all together and to give kids the tools for life. We've had programs in yoga, uh, cooking, art, photography, and what excites me most, I think, since I'm not in the classroom anymore, is um, the field trips. Because to me, that's what we remember. For me, the classroom is just one little place where learning takes place. There's a great big world out there. And some kids don't have the opportunity to go and travel greatly. So we can, we can stay close to home, but I'm concerned that we have children who are looking at screens all the time and they need the real experiences. They need to be in nature in order to love it and maybe preserve this incredible place where we're, we're lucky to live. I want to build bridges between these places and the schools. We had the sixth graders, about 90 sixth graders come and they spent an entire day at the Robert Wilson's Watermill Center. We had workshops where they made things, they did poetry, there was music making. I think when we expose kids to people who are passionate um, throughout the arts, whether they're cooks or yoga practitioners or music makers or guitarists or photographers, Anybody in the arts can um, share their passion with kids and invite kids in and invite kids to uh, participate and to be creative themselves. And I think that um, sometimes schools don't have the time or they don't have the, the people. And if we can help bring those people in and have children look up to them and have those experiences, they're, they're memorable. You turn kids on early on, they will always stay as protectors and appreciators of this beautiful world where we 